I see the world in shades of blue, and I can express that vision through the magic of cyanotype, an alternative photography process in which the reactions and interactions of natural elements in a pair of chemicals, ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferrocyanide, are integral to the creation of art. Just as nature's elements continually create seemingly random beauty, when these two chemicals are combined and applied to paper, cloth, or canvas, along with natural materials, and given time to absorb the sun's ultraviolet light, and then a final wash of water, they are ultimately transformed into a unique blue and white work of art. Traditional cyanotype techniques include the use of natural materials, stenciling, or photographic negatives to block the sunlight that reacts with the chemicals brushed and dried onto paper or cloth, thus producing a blue and white print when rinsed with water. However, I explore more unusual experimental techniques to make my abstract art. I apply cyanotype chemicals, natural toning materials such as lemon juice, hydrogen peroxide, artists' inks, and seawater directly on paper and manipulate the flow of these liquids while they are wet and the pieces developing in the sun. I selectively repeat the process to add texture to the work and I photograph the changing effects of the sunlight exposure to capture the evolving landscapes that appear before the piece is put into a final water bath and transformed to the primarily blue and white colors common to cyan. While making this art, Mother Nature's seasonal elements can challenge me. We are now in winter, and the days are shorter, the sun is dimmer, and the sea, snow, and wind are bitterly cold. I must use the fleeting moments when the elements are kinder to create my art. Is the sun out? Put everything else aside. Combine the chemicals, coat the paper, and get to the beach dip it in the surf, but try not to expose it to light before I get there. Check the tide chart before I go. More interesting patterns appear at low tide. Careful where the wind and waves will carry the paper away. Is it snowing? Quick, coat the paper and get outside. Remember my coat and gloves to hide from the cold. Try to time my day so that I can take advantage of the sun when it is at its strongest. Lay the wet pieces in the sun as quickly as possible to develop and marvel in the changing colors as the chemicals react. Orange, aqua, purple, and cerulean blue. Be sure to grab my camera. These amazing colors are so fleeting. Zoom in to capture the evolving reactions between chemistry, sunlight, water droplets, and time that create magical macro worlds. Watch the clock as I watch the colors change. Too little time in the sun, and the final art is too light. Too much time, and it is too dark. Other choices must also be made. Should I splash the chemicals on randomly, or use deliberate strokes? And should I tilt the liquid to and fro while it flows down the paper? Should I coat the entire paper, or leave white? in intuitively selected areas? Should I add inks for coloring, apply lemon juice for lightening, hydrogen peroxide for darkening, turmeric or teas for toning, salt while the paper develops to see amazing crystal patterns appear over time? Should I lay solid materials on the paper to create a stencil effect? Should I add more layers as I go along, but be careful not to overdo it? Should I etch the paper with streams of water to create lines? And finally, do I decide whether to give the piece a final wash in water? Once I do, the ever-changing rust lines, aquas and deep purples are lost, as is the salt, but the beautiful blues and whites appear. If I don't wash the work, I know that the chemicals will continue to react and darken further transforming it over time. 
Oh well, I can always wash it later and see what appears. To me, the joy of making cyanotypes is in the process, as well as the surprise of what appears in the end. I delight in letting chemical elements, time, choices and chance do their work, continually interacting and reacting to design my world in shades of blue and white. Thank you.